that exist. Or if it's a very small assignment, we can make it a homework assignment. If it's a larger assignment, we can make it a class project. And if it's a much larger project, then we can actually turn this into their capstone. Right? And so the idea is that it is going to be a capstone in systems engineering. And systems engineering mean is exactly this, to look at why 12 systems and processes, this is my understanding, you can clarify it a little bit more, and help them put together a system that is not institutionalized but is from a different perspective. So he's going to come and talk to you about who would be interested and what were these criteria and characteristics of the people that he wants so we could have as maybe, I'm, my understanding is maybe as little as one or two people out of there or as much as maybe four or five people out of here where we would at this moment start defining your capstone. If that is what you want and that's what he has, so there has, has to be a meeting of minds. There has been a discussion uh, with him uh, on looking at KPIs for this entire Y12 and CNS. And, and that's part of what he and I are thinking about in terms of working together uh, to do that. So they're going to develop a new performance measurement systems and they're asking us if, whether we want to do it and we said we want to do it. It's just that it has to go through the approval processes and make sure that everybody, and so it may happen. This is a new focus, my understanding, for Y12. Is, are you talking about looking at the KPIs for Y12 or for this cohort? No, 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 for Y12. Okay. And, and I believe for CNS. So we are looking at systems and processes because what he's saying is the current metrics and performances that we use may not be exactly what we want. So what I'm trying to do is to connect what we are discussing here with initiatives that are occurring at Y12 at this particular moment. Right? And then there may be several of you that may choose to and be selected to work on with Marco. And again, my agreement what is is because I have a certain level, not the Q clearance, what is it, Jeremy? I have clearance where I can see certain things, but I can see him at Y12 and leave him there. Uh, so my agreement with him is that he would sit on our committee. So the committee would be consist of maybe uh, Dr. Reed, uh, myself, uh, and maybe uh, Mark Cook. And so he would have the ability to look at your stuff that is sensitive, and he would then be able to give us a version of that. And as long as he says, I think it was okay, then you would be okay on your capstones. <coughs> is that okay? Right. Question? No, we were just trying to figure out what it might be about. It is about a not letting people look at a small component, but to look at the well-being of CNS or Y12 and have people that have this awareness to design systems that are really, really good. This is my understanding. The details of what the project says, we, we haven't talked about. If you go to one source, then uh, each department's KPIs are listed on one source under the performance track. If you click on the performance track link, there's a there's a link at the bottom that says KPIs. And it may not be about KPIs. I just know that he has people from Lockheed Martin coming to work at Y12 to do systems things. Now, this class is to give you a systems perspective. So uh, I think in fall, uh, I'm going to teach the systems class for you, but it is just not going to be me he and I are going to teach it together. So that I can tell you what I think of systems, but he can say systems at Y12 mean this. And therefore, you have to have a better perspective. Yeah, what about the ORNL people? What's that? <laughs> what about for the ORNL people? I left a message. Um, you know, I work with Steve Abercrombie, and I work through FNO. Uh, and so I left a message this morning to understand what your project should be at ORNL, and so I'm waiting for him to give me a call back. I guess I mean that, that the person coming from 
point twelve, it's they're not going to talk about classified information. No, 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 <laughs> not at this moment. They're just going to say this is in essence what we're doing. And uh, you know who's interested in what you'll explain a little bit about what the intent is. But I don't think they're going to release any classified information. <laughs> that, I agree. With you. First time I was like, what the heck? All right. There's food. I believe there's something out there. So, want to take a few minute break? Yes. Yeah, gotta have all this stuff written. I know. Just that. I don't I know. know. So he said to say hello. I've seen him in the video. And he's like, just let me know what he said. I'm sure he's got something funny to say. Uh, I'm nervous. Um, so Badge code, fine print. Okay. That's cool. It's actually just a hanging. Yeah, everything you do is classified. Thanks. Thanks. Be around people that have it. You know how you work in the same building. It's like, shit, can you go in our office? I do more. I just want you guys to. Even though they, if they're not in a limited area and you're there, they're not going to have you. Anyways, you hope not. If they do, I feel like I don't even know if they're going to want to. Don't even have to leave. I'll keep that in my experience. I was thinking that next Friday, last month, I don't deal with any of that. You do it for Friday. Yeah. Yeah, well, that is the worst thing when you do it. I want to have a good design. 